You already know, hip hop is life, abuelo. We about to get into this fire. And today I'm going to bring you this video on an 11 year old rapper from Fort Worth, Texas named Lil Rodney. I mean, he's 12 now. He just had a birthday that just passed recently. But, you know, he was 11 when all of this was going on, man. And uh, this is a sad, sad story, man. Very sad. Um, I just dropped another story on the channel a couple days ago on Lil Loaded. That was a sad story as well. But this one might take the cake, man. We're going to get into all of that. You know what I'm saying? But first, hit the like, subscribe, share, comment, do all of that good stuff for me, man. Make sure you hit the bell. You get all the notifications coming your way. But yeah, let, let's get into it, man. Now, Lil Rodney, he's a 12-year-old rapper from Fort Worth, Texas, like I said. But a couple months ago, he was 11. And this is when everything just started going crazy. Now, back in April, basically he was on the run. And he was on a, a, a ankle monitor at first because he had... He was in connection with the arson case, you know, off rip. So just picture 11 year old on the ankle monitor as wild, man. But yeah, so back in April, he was on the ankle monitor, you know, because he had went to juvenile court for arson. The judge was, you know, lenient on him, gave him an ankle monitor, sent him home, whatever like that. Back in April, kid ends up cutting the ankle monitor off cuts it off his leg or whatever and his excuse was he cut it off because he wanted to go to a funeral now when asked you know what who was it whose funeral was it all of that he he didn't give any answers so nobody knows to this day but now he's just ran away he's on the run you know what i mean um and the incident you know where one year old gets shot you know what I mean? Some people say the one year old survived. Some people say the one year old, you know, passed away. Who, you know, I tried to research it, but it really doesn't give you a definite answer. But, you know, people online is speculating like always. But, you know, so whatever happens, he's on the run. You know what I mean? An incident happens where a baby gets shot. Lil Rodney ends up getting blamed for it. So now fast forward to, I believe it was October. Just recently he was in court on a Zoom call, you know, because he's in a detention center and the, and the judge ended up sentencing him to seven years. You know what I mean? And um, I'm going to let you watch the video. So you were here for, you're on probation for arson. And that is from 2019. And then we've had all kinds of problems. Most recently... I let you go. I've, you come in and out. I've always let you go because you're so young. I mean, you're 11, you're 11 years old, right? So I didn't want to keep an 11 year old in here, but every time I let you out, you just cut off your electron monitor, you come back. Yes, sir? This time I cut it because I was on the phone with my- Please this don't is say not anything, something that okay? Don't right say now. that right now. Okay. Yes, sir. And yes, ma'am. Yes, so, all right. So you keep on running away. We keep on getting you back in here, make you stay a couple of days. You promised me you're not going to cut it off. I think you cried a couple times about coming back here. And then this last time we let you out. Mr. Spence, what was the last time we let him out? Uh, he cut his monitor on 8-14 of this year and ran. Okay, so about six weeks ago, cut off his monitor and ran. Even though you promised me you wouldn't. It didn't get to the part in the video where he sent this him, but, you know, it just gave you a recap of, you know, all the Lil Rodney's legal issues. You know, apparently Lil Rodney was like heavy in the street. He was like deep in the street. If you go to his Instagram profile, you know what I mean? He flashing money, doing a money spray. He got straps up there. He, you know what I mean? He looked like he getting it in, man. You know, so apparently, you know, he was just mixed up with the wrong crowd and the story saying something happened and they just blamed it on him because they know he's not really going to the big house. He's only going to go to juvenile detention center you know bring it back to the beginning of little rodney like he was you know his mother was 16 years old when he was born so she's barely even 30 right now to this day you know what i mean so it really wasn't much guidance she could have gave him 
Plus, you know, his father um says his father wasn't wasn't around, left the family. So, you know, just imagine a single mother at like 16, 17, 18 trying to raise a kid. Like it, it you know, it wasn't good. And she also was going to jail, locked up, all of that. So, you know, his grandfather ended up taking care of him and raising him and stuff like that. But we all know it's not too much grandparents could do to run behind a you know, a kid that's active. But yeah, man, um, it's a sad, unfortunate story. Um, Lil Rodney, he, you know, he got a couple music videos um out there on YouTube you could check out. You know, all his raps is really about, you know, gang stuff. He's supposed to be a crip. <laughs> you know what I mean? Eleven years old, cripping, you know what I mean? But um he got a couple names, Baby Savage, um, 30 shots, um, you know what I mean? They say he call him Little Curry. You know what I mean? <laughs> he got a video out named Curry. I mean, go check him out, man. And it's unfortunate. Little dude ain't going to be out till he's uh, 19. You know what I mean? They just gave him seven years. He was up in the uh, the Zoom court um, conference call crying. You know, he gave him seven years. And, and I can't blame him. He's a little kid, man. Like, these little niggas don't know nothing, bro. They just trying to emulate what they see on IG. So, of course, he's going to cry when the judge tell him, you got to spend the next seven years in a detention center, locked up. You know what I mean? Just hopefully, I don't know, man. He he changes ways while he's in there, but I doubt it, man. I did a lot of group homework. When kids get locked up that young, man, they demon time is activated. So you think, you know, Lil Rodney was a demon before? Oh, my goodness. Wait till he get out when he 19. You know what I mean? And he could be like, oh, I didn't snitch. I didn't tell on nobody. I stood tall. Yo, they going to soup this kid, man. Like I said, I'm going to keep bringing y'all stories that I come across and that I uh, that I think are interesting. And I'm going to just give my opinion on it and give my topic on um my opinion on the topic. And y'all get in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think. Um, yeah, man. Hip hop is life. We out.